Welcome. Today is Friday, and uh, we are uh, Friday after Ash Wednesday. So the first four Masses we mentioned yesterday in Lent serve as a general introduction to Lent. They describe the eventual um, essentials of the Lenten season and its program. So the Mass is concerned with fasting and teaching us what true fasting is. And we'll note that the opening prayer of today's Mass ask God to guide the Lenten penance that we have begun. So we'll begin um, our um, day of reflection here um, and share the word with the opening prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, with your loving care, guide the penance that we have begun. Help us to persevere with love and sincerity. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So we're looking once again at Matthew's Gospel, it's chapter 9, verses 14 and 15. And this short Gospel selection is a reminder that the followers of Jesus will indeed fast from food. Fasting, though, is to be an integral part of Christian life. But we note that um, as long as Jesus was with his disciples, they didn't fast. But when he would no longer be with them, they would fast. So we're having read then Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 14 and 15. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So when we look at um, today's Gospel, um, we begin to see that um, this is very much a, a real part of every Lent. Um, and so um, Jesus said to his disciples, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites, sad, but be joyful. Come, uh, fling open uh, the sashes of the Spirit and let the broad um, wind come in and open you up to the Spirit of God that wants you to fast with a real sense of joy and happiness because your focus is not in the drudges of fasting, but your focus is in the joy of what you find when you fast. You know, fasting makes us a little uncomfortable. And so um, when we're thrown out of our comfort zone, um, then we begin really to open up. We begin really to look at ourselves we, we begin really to allow God to work inside of us um, when we're uncomfortable. And um, God can begin to work um, not um, just when we are ill, uh, but he can begin to work even during these 40 days of the Lenten season. Um, so oftentimes we open up ourselves to the Holy Spirit when we become seriously ill. So we're praying, asking God's grace upon us, asking his favor to open up to healing. And, um, but it's always, if I can say, one-sided um, because of the fact that it's us asking God for. But really in the fasting that belongs to the Lenten season, it's opening ourselves up so that we can listen to what God has to say to us. What is he drawing us to? How is he caring for us? What does he want us to do as we seek to do his will? It's a whole process. And sometimes um, we 
um, move only in a process of relationship with God um, from a point of view, if I can excuse my words, use um, let's make a deal. And uh, then um, we're turning to the Lord. Um, but Lent is not let's make a deal. I it's a time in which we settle down and we let God enter to show to us His will for us and how can we build a better, lasting relationship with Him. Could you almost describe that as like maybe a little spiritual spring cleaning? Yeah, I think that would be a great yeah. uh, way to put it. Yeah, let's open up all the doors and get in there and dust everything up and clean it up and get rid of stuff that doesn't belong there anymore. That's right. And um, that stuff that you get rid of um, uh, is going to be mostly spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but also what will help you to get rid of the spiritual stuff is also when you might want to take some of your stuff to Catholic Charities mm -hmm. um, and uh, turn it over there um, so that um, you realize that you're doing the outside and the inside at the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, they both will complement each other as you move through um, the Lenten season. It, it's really important for us to become aware uh, that God wants to work within us and that we ourselves have to be open to His grace, to His love, to His um, sense of wanting to walk the journey with us. And when we do walk with Him, we find real success mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know one year for my um, family, we decided that we were going to eliminate television altogether. And with five children, you can imagine that that could sometimes be a little... <laughs> difficult. Difficult, <laughs> you know, but we actually found that that was a great time for us to spend. We, we had more time sitting around talking to each other, playing games, going for walks. Um, instead of, you know, wasting that time te watching television, though we might have been doing it together, now we were actually, you know, spending time together, and that was our family Lenten practice. We each had our own little individual ones that we were doing, but that was something we did as a family. And uh, when it was all over, we kind of thought, well, why do we want to go back to doing what we were doing before? And um, so it, it took a while, you know, because then life got busy. You know, the boys had sports activities uh -huh. and things to do, but we found that to be a great benefit to our family. And I think that um, what you begin to really find is that um, there's a, a whole new relationship built because of yeah. the ongoing dialogue. Mm -hmm. And uh, so people actually um, draw closer together. They're, they're sharing more of who they are, mm -hmm. um, what they want to be, how they want to move in their life. Yeah. And so it really becomes a, a blessed time. Yeah, it really was. And of course, we limited TV watching anyway, but it was like just even taking what, what we had away, how much benefit that had for the family. So um, uh, how would you find out the news, for instance, what's going on in the world? Um, would you um, read the newspaper? Is we that had the newspaper, yes. We had the newspaper came in. And I think um, that was even before you had too much of the Internet to, to get on and to look things oh, yeah, up. I'm sure so you that. had to rely you know, pretty much on the newspaper. So. Um, that became possibly some of what um, you conversed about during yeah. the day mm -hmm. because the, the paper will bring you some news that wasn't necessarily yeah. linked to your family yes, but to many right. other events in the city. Um, but it's so important to realize that the, uh, the season of, of Lent is a season to grow in one's relationship with God. So we're being urged to move into prayer fasting, and almsgiving. Mm -hmm. So prayer is the dialogue, talking to God. Um, fasting, uh, you'd be surprised. When we fast, it makes us uncomfortable with ourselves. And um, so many other stuff comes up for us to look at because uh, when we're fat and sassy, uh, we probably are more lethargic, and so we're not really thinking about ourselves and what we've been doing. but. Mm -hmm. Fasting brings all of that up. And then, of course, almsgiving is where we charitably give to the needy. Bye-bye.